Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Apps Every Day, and today we're going to be talking about Plan E5. Now, I played around with the beta version of this uh, when the developer first released it and haven't really touched it since, so I want to uh, kind of play around with it. I remember it being really, really well designed and just missing a handful of features, and so uh, the reason this says Git at the top is because I haven't downloaded the public version. I still have access to the beta version, so... Uh, I'm just going to kind of jump in here and see how this compares to like the regular notes or reminders app and if there's any standout features that I find here. So first we can be greeted by kind of this menu interface here where we can see a calendar and at the bottom it asks us to plan our day or later. So let's see what happens with plan, briefing, no overdue desk, great, plan our day, doop -a doop -a doo from a series of tasks you choose from one you want to complete that day. No tasks. Okay. So it looks like the first thing we need to do here is create some lists. And so uh, I'm going to say um, like family maybe, groceries. All right. And first paywall here. So unlock all the amazing features. So it looks like they have individual or family. Definitely not bad prices. So you can pay 65 bucks to get it lifetime or you can pay in an annual or three months at a time same thing for an individual uh, and I love when they give payment options like this like of course I'm all for it like everyone likes free stuff but the developers you know if you want an app to succeed and do well then you know you got to pay the developer so I like the fact that you can pay a subscription model if uh, you know it's a little bit cheaper and if you constantly want the new stuff um, then you can go that route or you can get the lifetime membership uh, and just cough up the 35 bucks, which if you like the interface and you think you're going to use it for a long time, it always uh, usually makes sense to go lifetime. And it looks like if you purchase Plan E3, you can restore your purchase at the bottom. So that's nice. Um, so I guess I can just have two lists here. So maybe um, I can go in and change this one from family. That was easy to find to work. I'll hit update. See, what other settings do we have? We can put in details. We can say specific due date for this project uh, since this one doesn't really have one. You can change the color and even put a symbol to something. So let's see, this is work. So maybe put like a folder icon and groceries. Maybe there's some sort of food. All right, I'm going with this one because it kind of looks like a receipt. Uh, not a huge deal there. Going to hit update. So if we're going to add a new task and say uh, like bread. And so it looks like we have, again, a couple uh, things behind the paywall. So if you want a subtask for it, then you have to go the premium route to be able to turn that on. Same where you can attach a photo, that's really cool. Duration in minutes, that's cool. What does that look like? So if I wanted to, what, spend? All right, this doesn't make sense for bread. I'm just going to add in a couple of these. Now, the only downside I'm finding is if you want to add a bunch of these tasks very quickly, hitting the return button didn't seem to work. So, for example, if I do this and hit return, it just lowers the keyboard, but I really have to hit the add. So you can't add a ton of tasks really, really quickly. Sometimes you can just hit return on a keyboard. Maybe you can if there's like an iPad or or desktop version of this, but at least on the iPhone version, you can't. So we have groceries. Now let's go into work. And this is where we can try out some of those other features. So um, create YouTube video. So I'm going to say duration in minutes. That's interesting. So if I wanted to give 45 minutes to this, and I choose a day. Allow for reminders. Your location reminder priority. So if I hit add. All right, and then that, okay, I see. So it doesn't add it to my to-do list because I set it for tomorrow. So it's planned. 45 minutes. If I were to change this to today, so I say do today, does it put it on my calendar. Okay. Even though I put the due date as then. All right. And now this little light bulb up here, 
That's the plan your day, I believe. So if I hit that and see groceries, and again, these aren't really the type of tasks you would plan by getting hit done. All right, and then it adds it to today here. A tag, oh, that's premium, can't do it. So I'm guessing the tag is like if I did like a tag of YouTube and then created a bunch of different lists um, for different YouTube projects, I could search or save by that tag and it would allow me to uh, do that. All right, so we can see pinned routines is some cool use routines to create repeating tasks. You can combine weekly, daily, monthly repetitions. So that's kind of a standout feature. Awards, interesting, one day planned. So kind of a little gamification. So overall, this is, you know, a very nice designed um, setup. I really like the little animations in between. Um, to be honest, the latest notes app and reminders app really have added the majority of these. This is almost like a combination of the Apple notes and the Apple reminders app, um, like pretty much dead on because when you're adding something, a new task, you can now add photos, you can add um, tasks. The only thing you can't really do that I've seen is duration and minutes. That's pretty unique, but you know, a due date, reminder, location reminders, priorities, subtasks, all that's uh, in the Apple Reminders app. Um, again, the photos you can, in the Notes app, in the regular Notes app, you can attach documents, photos, all that good stuff. And of course, if you have an Apple device, those two apps are totally free and included. And so although this isn't an overpriced app, um, I would say that, you know, you'd have to really like the interface and really like kind of a one specific standout feature of this. Because uh, in my opinion, you know, you might as well just use the the Apple and Notes app. So I really like the Planny uh, app. Maybe I'm missing something that's really standout-ish. So if the developer sees this video, feel free to comment or reach out and I'll take a deep dive. Again, in my first glance, this routines is probably the standout feature. Uh, where you can have a task repeat each time. But again, that, that's almost like the clock app. I, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Uh, what you think about Planny? Download it. Give it a shot. Links all in the description down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for another Apps Every Day.